right back with another bang up, baby. Got the Brooklyn girl in the house. Brooklyn in the house. Brooklyn in the house. Hey. <laughs> And I hope you are doing well. <sighs> I made it to the end of the week. So I don't know when I'm going to get this up. <sighs> because I've been doing hair every day after I leave school. So I haven't been editing. <sighs> I am so tired. Tired. I feel overwhelmed. Overwhelmed at school. Overwhelmed at home. It's just been a lot. And I am looking forward to the weekend. And anyway, I know what y'all saying about my hair. What y'all saying about my hair? So yesterday I was in scrubs and then I was walking to get copies of something and I saw the principal, Miss Bowser, Miss Bowser, Miss Bowser. I was like, oh man, what do I do now? I was like, dang it. As soon as I said, I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> he was like, nothing, nothing. So he was telling me that one of my students won a raffle and she chose to be principal for the day. And he says, I'm gonna come to your seventh period class and you know, it's not an observation. I don't care, I don't mind if anybody walks in any time. And he says, not an observation, but we just, you know, I'm showing her around what we do as principal and she's principal for the day. And so we asked her who is her favorite teacher and she said, you. <laughs> because of that, you get a $50 um, spending allowance for anything for your classroom. <laughs> So that was so awesome. I was like, oh, that's so great. And she's so sweet. She's so sweet. And she tries so hard. And she's so, she's just precious. She gave me a little note. She said, dear Miss Basil, thank you for being the best relief teacher ever. I love and enjoy your class. So cute. And then I'll get me um, a little Sonic drink in a couple of weeks, she said. And then the $50 that I can spend anytime something for the classroom. So now I'm thinking, I'm like, what do I need? I just got something for the classroom. So I'm super excited about that. That was so sweet. And the principal, then he also said, so who are you today? <laughs> I was like, just crazy joy today. <laughs> and the kids love my little pom-poms, but honey, these things hurt. Cause they're so heavy that it's just like, whew, I'm ready to take them down. But they were fun, the kids loved them. Uh, no fancy, fancy outfit today. I mean, it's crazy as usual, as you know, okay, you know, you know. And somebody, this was somebody said, listen, listen, listen. Another student said, somebody said, you know, calling them out, they don't know why I would wear that, I think. And then, like, he probably thought I was going to get back. I said, do you think I care what other people say or think about me? I said, no, I'm very confident in who I am, honey. And it does not faze me at all because I am uniquely me. And what somebody else wants me to be, I'll never be that, honey. So, mm -mm, this is called confidence. I was like, I don't care what people say. I know I'm different. I know, I know I'm a little cool, cool. I know that. And I accept that. And I embrace that. I don't have to follow the whole little bunch. I follow the beat of my own drum, not somebody else's. <laughs> and you know, that could come with age, that could come with experience, that could come with I'm just tired of it. But oh no, I'm never going to downplay who I am to make someone else feel comfortable. Mm -mm, not doing it. No, y'all don't like it. I know I'm different. I know I'm off. I, I know that. And so you're not telling me anything. You know, like someone, if someone who's obese, then people, oh, you fat, you fat. Okay, I know that. Tell me something new. Next caller. You're not telling me anything I don't already know. I know I'm crazy. I know I'm unique. I know my style is not for everybody. I know everybody doesn't like a joy, okay? And whose problem is that? theirs not mine if somebody doesn't like something about you that's their problem you still be you and now you just like a horrible person you did sometimes we need to change anyway and so i was just like he and they, they didn't have anything to say i said you think i care hunty i don't i don't and who gonna check me boo who gonna check me 
even in my outfit. I was like, I know it's crazy, but I was like, who gonna check me, boo? Nobody. Okay, you got something to say. Go ahead and say it. And my day is gonna go on. I'm still gonna be tired, and I'm still gonna be me. Period. And that's on who? That's on who? Mary had a little lamb. Boop. Boop, boop. Boop. Proud to be me. You know, I wish I didn't have this COVID-19, but you know, it is what it is, okay? I'm still going to be me. Let me show y'all this outfit. Let me show you this outfit, okay? It, I wore the skirt before and nothing new. Put it on with my glasses. Bam. decided to put the shirt around my waist because that's just how I was feeling. I just felt like it needed some extra. I put on my little Gucci belt. It wasn't, it just wasn't working. So I was like, Joy, you need a sparkly belt. It needs to sparkle. I wish I could get me a belt that lights up, honey. So I was like, it needs to sparkle. But that was so, so sweet. <laughs> that was so sweet. Let me tell you, I probably need to go get the vaccine. I hugged so many kids today, and it's what I'm gonna do. It is what it is. I'm a hugger. My kids love me. I love my kids. You know, do the side hug. Now, one little boy, <laughs> um, he has the autism, but high, 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 high functioning. And uh, he was like, hey, Miss Basil. And he says, you are looking very dapper today. <laughs> and then I was like, hey. Then he gets me, he's like, mm. <laughs> so cute. I just love him. And um, class at kind of school just seems like it flew by this week. It flew by. So I am having something built for my classroom. <laughs> Shy, you ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. That's why I'm so tired. I've had high, high, high energy all week. So I tried to tone it down today, but that didn't work. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here because I have to go. Because Sydney needs to be somewhere. Then Bobby needs her hair finished. And then Bay Daddy's coming to town. My house is a mess. I have grades to put in and essays to read. I feel overwhelmed because... I really don't have the time. When we're in the writing portion of our curriculum, it is overwhelming and exhausting. And sometimes it does take a little longer to get those things to grade, but braiding her hair during a week so I would have my weekend, <clears throat> it's been rough. I am so tight going to bed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Going to bed at midnight, 11.30 every night, long clock going off at five. I'm just tired and sometimes I just feel like I've said this before so it's not anything new but for my new people I feel like I don't know if you read the book The Giving Tree uh, where the tree just gives and gives and gives until there are no more leaves there's no more tr tree trunk there's just a stump and even the tree offers up the stump to be used as a seat at the end of the book and that's how I feel I feel like Everything's been picked off of me. And I guess I just I just need a break. I just feel I feel overwhelmed. I do. So I'm looking forward to the weekend, but that anxiety is here because I have a stack of papers to grade and read, grades to put in, um, Bobby's hair to finish, my house to clean. I'm just it's I'm i I'm just I don't know how much more I can give. And then I give my energy, my love, my enthusiasm, creative lesson. I'm trying. I'm just tired. And somebody sent me a teacher planner. 
and thank you so so much is at home but i want to say thank you for my teacher planner i am so excited and looking forward to using it I'm not going to use it now i'm going to save it for the next school year so we had to sign paperwork to see if we plan to come back the next year and i and i said yes i'm not unhappy here i think they're accepting me and embracing my crazy and i just think it took a minute for them to know that i just i am who i am and it's who i am <laughs> And so it, it has been it has been enjoyable this year. And I think I'm more accepted this year and they allow me to be me. Yeah. I still <laughs> I still behind on some some things that I need to submit, but I'm getting in. I haven't been taking my medication. <laughs> oh my gosh, joy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, those 19. I got 19. Oh, this was, I got work. I got a party. I need to praise the, I'm like, but I want to go and hang out, you know, with baby. I just let my, let my hair down, child. Let the weave down, child. I just feel stressed. Like I'm pulled in so many different, all right. I don't want to keep talking about that, but I love all my students. Well, I love all my students. They are awesome. They're sweet. My last period class shot, I could barely control those, those little babies. It's like a comedy show. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look, get back, get back on track. <laughs> and then I go saying something else silly. <laughs> then the whole class, Whoa! and I was like, at the end of the day, it was about 10 minutes left. And they were a little off task. And I was like, mm, it's the crush for me. And the whole class, so that was it after that. I was just like, start turning off these lights. All right, guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. And thank you for loving me and accepting me. There is somebody who gives me a thumbs down. It can be more, but I'm guaranteed to get one thumbs down on every video. I'm like, you still watching or something? So you doing something? All right. I see you, thumbs down person. I love you too, even if you don't love me. You gonna check me, boo? No, you can't take that my love away cause I'm giving it all to you. Hey, you can't take my love away cause I'm giving it all to you. And I'm like this, if somebody doesn't like me, I had this little conversation before, that person got serious issues. I don't know if it's insecurity. I don't know if they are just one depressed, person just negative or racist or whatever it is but if someone doesn't like me that's a big problem big problem i'm like mm. and then even last year i was like why do people treat me like this i was like what did i do to this i haven't done anything and baby we're like, that's a whole nother vlog although i talked about this stuff before at another school it was terrible terrible but anyway, you call them haters. That's what you call them. But this person, I was just like, if someone doesn't like me, that's something's wrong. And sometimes it hurts my feelings. But whatever. Who gonna check me, boo? Nobody. And you know, I was this close to coming up here with my skates. I'm glad I didn't. I need a little more practice to get used to them. But I'll be watching skate videos. So maybe I'll practice. Yeah, I've seen some new stuff, so I, I can't wait to try, but I need practice. It's probably been about 25 years since I've been on some skate. You know, it's like, okay, let me stop. I could tell him to go for another time.